Well, I've got an amazing geeky science here for you. We, we, you know, we keep talking about how the wisdom of nature, and this is just incredible. Um, ants, A-N-T-S, you know the little insects, little tiny things? This, is, this was published, um, I don't, actually, I didn't publish the, oh yeah, it's a cell, uh, the current biology, the, the, the journal cell. It's a peer-reviewed journal. Uh, it's by a group of researchers. Um, the, uh, and the title is Wound Dependent Leg Amputations to Combat Infections in Ant Society. And what they did, they, they point out open wounds pose a major infection and mortality risk in animals. And so what they did was, uh, well, I'll just read to you from the, from the, uh, from the uh, summary. When we experimentally injured a worker ant's leg at the femur, nestmates amputated the injured limb by biting the base, the trochanter, of the leg until it was severed, thereby significantly increasing survival compared to ants that did not receive amputations. However, when the experimental injury was more distal at the tibia, nestmates did not amputate the leg and instead directed more wound care to the injury site. This study provides the first example of the use of amputations to treat infected individuals in a non-human animal and demonstrates that ants can adapt their type of treatment depending on the location of wounds. So there's a, a particular gland in these ants, it's called the uh, metapleural gland, that secretes antimicrobial, basically antibiotics, right? Antimicrobial substances. If the ant has been injured in a way that requires amputation, they amputate the leg. If the ant is injured in a way that amputation wouldn't work, they treat the leg with these antibiotic secretions from their from this uh, meta metapleural gland. It's like ants as doctors. I mean, this is just mind boggling. You know, I mean, they're, 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 they're literally performing surgery in ant societies and the, the, uh, the death rate has, it, you know, when they don't amputate, the death rate of, for the ants is like 70, 80%. When they do amputate, it drops down to around 10%. It's just an incredible study. It's titled Wound Dependent Leg Amputations to Combat Infections in an Ant Society, and you can read it over at cell.com. And it, uh, they looked at uh, several different ant gener genera, uh, uh, genuses. I guess genera is the right word. Um, they, in fact, they note to reduce these, there's many animal species apply antimicrobial compounds to their wounds. This is like, you know, dogs infect, uh, you know, licking their wounds, that kind of thing. Uh, but this goes way beyond that. I mean, this is ants performing surgery. It's incredible. Nature is just amazing, isn't it? I mean, what a miracle. Life is such a miracle. We are so, so blessed to have this opportunity right now to be alive in this world and experience all the incredible stuff uh, that life has for us. It's just such a, such a blessing. We'll be right back.